Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. It's day three now and we're still going strong. I will admit pretty sleep deprived, but we're still going at it. This time we're doing a Q&A. I didn't think this through. I didn't have enough time to ask you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. So I found a site online with a bunch of questions that are like about why I wanted to start YouTube and like my role models and I found that that would be a great way for you guys to know more about me so that's what I'm gonna be using now the part I didn't think through is that I'm gonna be using my phone to record I was also planning to use my phone to look at the questions <laughs> now I need to go print the questions be right back okay and we're back with the papers all right perfect this is my first Q&A, so don't judge. I don't know if I'm doing this right, really. I also just woke up and it's 8 p.m. Uh, like I said, a little sleep deprived. Anyways, what is your name and the name of your channel? Well, this one is easy. So my name is Mark and the name of my channel is Mark Opoly. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to that channel. What does the name of your channel mean? Literally, this is what happened. I was playing Monopoly with friends, and then the idea popped up in my head. I was like, well, this YouTube thing, I'm pretty much treating it like a game, and I'm trying to rock it and, like, be on top of that game. So why don't I call my name Markopoly as something to, like, remind me of what I'm trying to do? So it was, like, something a little like that. But there's more to why I want to do YouTube. It's not just all a fun game but that's kind of how it works where are you from so originally i was born in new jersey then i moved to texas and sneak peek i think i might be going to new jersey during vlogmas so stay tuned after you subscribe go ahead and turn on post notifications so you don't miss those vlogs why did you start a youtube channel so the reason why i started a youtube channel is because i love watching youtube right i love watching the like how creators come up with like new content and the new videos and ideas so i was like why don't i do that like i love the process behind it like i remember after i've like watched youtube videos and stuff i was like what's the process behind this and then like i looked it up and then it, I, it's something about just like having to like pressure yourself to think of an idea before a due date and then record it and then edit it and then as you're uploading it you just get that feeling of like success that I don't get as often as I get from YouTube because it's something daily now for 25 days of vlogmas and just watching your video come to life and watching people like like your video and like love what you're putting out there and then something about that just makes you feel so good and that's what had me motivated to start my YouTube channel what will your channel be about so originally my channel was supposed to be about tech but then I was like People are gonna get bored from a channel that's all about tech and there's like plenty of those around. Why don't I have like a little bit of both and try to do my own thing and like see where it brings me. And that's kind of where I am right now. I don't know where this is going, but I guess we're here to find out together. Who is your target audience? So all my YouTube videos are supposed to be literally made for everyone. Like anyone can watch my YouTube videos no matter what age, nothing is like inappropriate about them it's all family friendly and all good content but normally when i'm making a video like i'm thinking like the person watching this my age would they understand like references or whatever that i'm putting in the video or would they understand like a specific joke but i make sure that i don't like that everything is acceptable for all ages because it just feels bad to be left out first paper done what do you hope to achieve with your channel? That's a good question. Well, with my channel, I hope that it'll be like, like, let's say you're having a bad day or a good day. Like you come to my channel and watch that like short video that that'll be uploaded once a week after Vlogmas ends at least. Like that should like bring your mood up a little. Like I want my videos to be like a little boost to your mood. You know what I'm saying? Like some place you go to have fun. Or if it's like an unboxing, you're like, wow, I learned something about this technology today. Or if it's like a review about some sort of tech, you're like, oh, I learned about this technology today. Cool. Like, just something like that. Like, I'm uploading things that I love online for people that have the same interests, kind of, to, like, view it and just, like, be in love, if that makes sense. So the question here says top three favorite YouTube. I don't know if that means top three favorite YouTube videos or my top three videos that I made. 
I'm just gonna use top three videos that I made because I can't think of other videos right now. I don't have my phone with me. I'm using it to record. So because I don't have a lot of videos out right now, they'd probably be the last videos that I uploaded. The these three vlogmas ones because I feel like every video I upload, I only learn more about like recording or the film process or the editing process which makes my craft like better which then makes me feel like I'm more accomplished which then the more the better it looks the more you'll get like a bigger like group of people to like see what you're producing and enjoy it so I feel like the more I learn or the videos where I learned the most while doing the production for those are gonna be my favorite videos so oh, those last three videos of mine the three vlogmas those are my favorite videos right now. Who inspired you to start a channel? My inspiration for my YouTube channel would honestly be FaZe Rudd because he's just what I would what I was watching growing up and like he didn't like start off with a lot of money or anything. Like I saw him like from right where he was like starting his YouTube channel to like where he is now. And then that just motivates me to keep going. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? I'd honestly really want to collab with Mr. Beast right now. Because I just, something about like, he's got a lot, and he gives like most of it away. And like, that is so inspiring to me. I'm like, how a person like, it's easy to love money. Like, don't get me wrong, who doesn't love money? But all he does is give away that money to other people that need it. And then their reactions are just priceless. How much they enjoy that gift. So I would love to do a collab with Mr. Beast and like Give away things with him, you know three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel you Should subscribe to Markopoly to be part of Markopolis You should subscribe to Markopoly so that you see if I lose to this vlogmas journey or not because I still don't know What's gonna happen and you should also subscribe to Markopoly because new videos every single week after vlogmas and they're all gonna be fun and you don't want to miss them so be sure to subscribe to Markopoly. Which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be like? I don't know. Like, I, when I make videos, I don't like... See, this is the thing. Like, you either watch videos, and then, like, what I realized now that I'm making videos, I watch less videos because I don't have, like, as much time. With school and videos, that's pretty much what my whole day looks like. So, I don't think right now my videos would look close to anyone's because I'm just like, because I don't watch anyone to anymore to, because I don't watch anyone anymore to really know what their videos are like. But one thing I hope I'm not doing is copying anyone because I don't want to steal someone's idea because they put a lot of thought into that idea and then for me to take it is not right. What is your favorite thing about the YouTube community? My favorite thing about the YouTube community, how interactive it's becoming with like the polls and the stories. Um, I love how interactive the YouTube like platform is for the community. And just when you press that like button, that motivates me to keep going. And like that motivation is just like the best feeling in the world that like someone likes what you're doing and wants you to be at a higher level. I love how the YouTube community really motivates you to get things done. Your least favorite thing about the YouTube community? Hey, I feel like if you're gonna put hours into a YouTube video and then for someone to dislike it or to put a bad comment, that's just like heartbreaking. But at the same time, sometimes hate motivates you. Like what got me back onto YouTube after I quit, I feel like was hate from a certain like amount of people. What do you think you could bring to the YouTube community that isn't already there? Well, I don't know if this isn't already there or not, but like, I just want to make sure that when I get like, like that big audience, I don't want to treat my audience like they're fans and I'm like a superstar when I'm really not. I want to treat my viewers like they're family. Like I always want to keep in touch with you guys and like make sure that I'm putting like polls and stuff to stay interactive with you guys so i just want to make sure that i don't think too much of myself like stay humble three things you should know about you well i'm very lazy and like whenever like i take like a let's say a one week i don't upload a video like i won't upload for like three months and then that's just i hate when i do that another thing is sometimes i actually am busy and i won't upload but i will do everything i can to 
pressing us to upload, like right now. For example, it's 1.07 a.m. and I'm currently still editing. And I also have school tomorrow. And I don't know if my true personality is on YouTube yet. I think like I'm still warming up to like this talking to a camera thing. And I'm still trying to be myself in front of the camera. Like I am out of the camera. Like I'm trying to keep it 100 with you guys. Um, but you know, I'm so new to this YouTube thing. And, but you know, I'm so new to it. And it feels weird when you talk to a camera. So I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> what do you think the most rewarding thing will be? Like I said, the most rewarding thing is hitting that upload button. After you've made a thumbnail and made a video that took hours to make. It's just such an amazing feeling. So that's like the most rewarding thing about it. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? Yeah, I see myself making a career out of YouTube. Why not? Do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel? The one mistake I made, which drew, like left me back a lot, was not uploading for five months. Like, if you're gonna make a YouTube channel, it's not easy. You can't be lazy. You still have to remember to film. You have to spend hours in front of a computer screen editing and you have to upload on time or not on time or like you don't have to have a specific time but you have to be consistent with it. Like if you're going to be a daily vlogger, although hard as I can see from this vlogmas challenge, you have to upload every day or try your best. I guess it doesn't matter as much when you're daily vlogging but like at like the very minimum once a week if you want progress. You need to upload at least once a week and put some time and effort into it so that your videos look good and put it out there and see what people think based on their feedback, their thumbs up, their thumbs down. But don't judge yourself because I feel like you're harsher on yourself than people who are watching your video. At least for me, I am. Like, I'll think that one of my videos, like, I don't like it that much. But then, like, I'll record a little bit of it and send it to my friends to see what they think if I should even keep going with it. And, like, they say that it's really good. I upload it, and I upload it, and then, like, I get, like, thumbs ups. And I'm like, well, maybe this isn't bad. So it's, like, the saddest thing you can do is not upload a video because you judged yourself too harshly. Put it out there. See what people think. Um, there's, like, a lot of people in this world. So if you put something out there, chances are there's going to be someone that's going to enjoy it as much as you did or even more. And that's gonna be a wrap for this Q&A. Day three of Vlogmas, we're still staying strong. Leave a thumbs up for this Q&A. Comment down below any video ideas you might wanna see during Vlogmas. We still have 22 days left. And this is a wrap. See you on the next one.